Hello everyone and welcome back to Patty's Hobby World. So I finished the, stop, the top portion and let me just, and then we're going to continue on to the lower half right now as well. But this is what I had a problem with. This piece right here, this was really hard for me to understand visually. Now I understand this piece being the balcony and you step out on the balcony. But if you remember, if you watched the other videos, there was this piece here railing and it did not logically sit cognitively to my brain so um i had i struggled with it i struggled with it i blacked it out and as you can see just when i blacked it out i actually saw i'm like okay now i see where you can step out onto the balcony but here and then the flowers being here i just it it didn't relate to my mind so there's my boo-boo okay there, there is the, you know, well, it's not a boo-boo. It's just trying to get your brain to wrap around something that doesn't look like it's, 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 you know, coming together, but it, it's perfectly okay. Um, so there you have it. I'll, let me scroll in just a little bit more. So all this came out very nice. The glow of the lanterns came out very nice. The ivy came out nice. Um, it's a little darker here. Let me shut off the light. That's actually what it looks like without the light on. So you can really see the, how pretty the ivy is and the stucco, then the, the stone, a little bit, a couple pieces of brick here. But the stone came out really nice. Brown stone, as they call it. Um, so a little stucco up there as well. So let's get started. Let's go down to the bottom now. Let's work down here. And uh, that looks good. So we'll leave it right there. I've got no room. I've got to push all this stuff out. My area of, of it is closing in on me. Okay, so here we go. And we'll, I'm going to back out just an inch. So you can see from corner to corner. And then I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to bring my thing out. Sorry, um, this is a camera, so it's set up on a tripod. And you see it coming from this way. Um, when I get to a thousand subscribers or maybe two thousand subscribers I'll get all the video equipment with the, you know the, the white light and uh, stuff like that but right now we're gonna work with what we got because my son got this for me and I'm very happy for it and uh, that he was able to get it for me okay so let's color for a little bit and I'm gonna take a break for the next couple of days but I think I'm good I, I think I got um, enough videos out till I think the Sunday so we're good we're good for right now and then you guys can kind of catch up I don't want you oh she puts out one every day I, I can't catch up no 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 when it, whenever you're ready to you know watch my videos you know I have some people who watch them in the morning um, you know watch them in the evening so no 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 yeah no pressure I'm just glad you guys um, come and watch, you know, uh, that's what I appreciate, is that you guys come, you know, who knew that I'd still be coloring after the, uh, March of last year, but I have grown to, I've grown to, you know, to love it, so, that may slow down a little bit, but, um, don't forget I got my little camping videos too, so, um, so yeah. Just soften it a little bit. I don't want it too, too hard there. So I, I spread the, the uh, with this colorless pencil. It's like a hard, I don't know what it is really. But it's a, like a hard eraser or something. So I use it for blending. Okay, so let's let's um, let's get down here. Uh, let's get some green. Let's do this first because I love my pots. My pots came out really pretty. So let's let's do this pot real quick. Mm 
some gyrations in there. Come in with his, because this is what I did right here. And then I come in with my dark, darker um, brown and just give it a little Just a little bit more brown in. Yeah, that looks good, right? And we'll leave it at that. So I think that's all the pots. Let's do a couple of green here. I'm going to get out my marker this time. Because I want to make this... Um, pop out just a little bit. I mean, I can do pencil. Yeah, that's no problem. I'm leaving a little bit of little bit of white in there, as you see, because when I do the background, it'll it'll look good. Little shiny spots here and there. See, just a little bit. And I think we'll just make this part all green as well because we're going to do the stucco down here as well as we saw up top. And I was using my marker for that. This will pop off the uh, stucco really nice. So. Mm -hmm. so we got some rain. So all of my um, wildflowers, the ones that come up perennial, uh, the wildflowers, they, they just are popping everywhere. Very nice. Purples and my orange, my bright orange. They're all up now. Okay, so see, that, that doesn't look too bad. Now it looks like all these are gonna be green. So I'll I mean I'll work I'll work all of the green. Um as we go on, I think I'll do that a little purple right here. Well, you know what? Let's do the purple now. And we'll do the same thing. Let me just get it in here. And I'm just going to move around in here. Because once the backdrop comes in, it'll really stand out really nice. Sometimes you don't have to use a white marker to create your own. Just don't color everything in. Just make it a little bit of a... You can make one or two dark. You can get back in there and like this one and just make a couple of them dark. And then just go back up to being a little bit light. So see that? That look oh that looks so cute. Is that is that one right there? Okay, let's fill it in. Let's make it dark. I'll go in and just kind of create some high lows here. See what I'm doing? Just going back in creating some dimension. Which creates realism. And that's what we like when we color. We like to make it as real as possible because when you can do that, that's a that's 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 quality there. See that? That's great. That looks pretty. Okay, so we'll do all these different greens. So we'll, we won't worry about those right now. I will keep my green pencil out. Um, let's do you know you know old Patty. She's got to uh, make sure that there's light in the window. The lights are always on. 
and Patty's house. Make this a little lighter. Here, you want to do these too? All right, this is the side window. Oh yeah, that's gonna be fun. I have one of these windows, this row of windows in my in my house. So you can see the light. Matter of fact, it's on both sides of my door and up on top. So I get full light. That's why I hardly ever have the lights on. Yep, I hardly ever have the lights on during the day because there's just so much light. So much light comes into my house. Um, you want to do this? Like these are windows? Oh, you know what? I made a mistake. Let's do this. I'm going to fix it right now. And then we'll, this is the bar that holds, you know, that's, that's the framing. And I'll be able to fix this. I wasn't thinking. I'm like, no, let this be the frame. You know? I didn't mean to use this color, but it's okay. Everything is going to blend in anyway. Once we're done, So now the light is coming in. Now let's get a little darker one because you know how I like to kind of create some more dimension, you know. And this is how I do this right here. So we go out and do the um, edges. Just creates a nicer look. I can go even deeper than this. I can get another deeper orange, but let's just wait. Work with what we have here. And then we can go from there. So we come here. Where's the other one? Okay, down here. Over here. Okay, so you see how that works? Creates a nice little glow. Okay. And then uh, let's go to the next cut. Because, um, see, I like to pop around. It, it create it just the, the um, I like to pop around. Uh, I don't know why, but I do. Just breaks up the uh, monotony of just strictly doing one thing at a time and move around. So I hope everybody's prepared for the weather. It started raining here yesterday, but the, the sky is kind of bluish, blue. The sun is out, but it did rain, so we got some um, good rain again. And... Uh, but the storm is going to be coming through. So you guys living on the coast all the way up the eastern seaboard, um, just kind of be on the lookout. There are tropical storms. Uh, 
which we need. We need as much, much needed rainwater. I've been saying that for the last few months. But uh, if you're in a dry climate, then um, hold on, that's my son, hold on. Um, I just told him I'll call him right back. You appreciate when you can get some rain. And then the you know your yard looks great, you know, your flowers flourish. You know, there's nothing like mother's milk. With uh, Mother Nature's milk, I call it, and that's rainwater. Your plants, everything does so much better with rainwater. So. Just tell the green. Okay, so let's get it's a little darker here at the root, at the base. And get a little bit of dark to create some effect here. See, that looks good. And it'll dry, it'll dry a little bit lighter. So you may wanna just go back in again and, or just get a um, darker pencil and uh, Okay, that looks good. That looks really good. Uh, I'm looking for my other marker, but I don't see my other green. I think this is the same green. I'm just checking on my, yeah, these are the same greens. Cause I got a double pack of these. So I got a double pack when I got them. Um, This is going to be pretty, so let's let's get this going. Can you see that, guys? Let me pull up just... Oh, yeah, yeah, oh my gosh. Let's pull up over here. Let me see if I can scroll in just a little bit more. All right. Since we're in this corner right here. Oh. Since we're in that corner. Yeah, try to use all your greens. I mean, take advantage of the colors of green that you have. There's one green will just get really, really old quick. And all this will pop when all this back color, background color comes, starts to take effect. So that looks good. Okay, now let's get a darker green, but let's make sure it's not a blue green. See, I don't like that one. Let's go to a, I think it's this one. It's a little bit more yellow. Oh, I think this is, I don't know if this is it. Hmm. Okay, come back this way. See if this is it. Well, it's okay. I mean, it's not going to hurt. Add a little add. It'll add a little character. Okay, I'll touch that up again. A little bit but the ivy came out good um, these are coming out really nice 
Let's do a different color. Mm. I love this color. I mean, it's going to look good behind, um, like I keep saying, I keep saying it. Yeah. It'll look good. I see these little spikes. I don't know if they're going to show. But let's give them some color. Just stay on the same spike that you see. It'll get off track. Just give it a little bit of color. Okay. Mm -hmm. I got the darker green, lighter green. Uh, I mean, I can grab any green now. Uh, make another green. And let's try this green. I mean, cause I got like tons of green. So. All right, so we know we're going to make the base dark, so I can definitely do that. do is I'm going to come in with my marker just make sure we've got I really don't see it I don't want to use black do the we got six minutes left let me scroll back out just a little bit let's work on the uh... well you know what let me just finish and then we'll work on the door all right so let's scroll out give this a, a good picture look this is what we got going on oh that purple that purple really popped oh yeah that's good I think I'll do purple over here too because <laughs> that really the, the purple really popped oh, let's scroll in and I'll get you this right shot right here. Yeah, the purple came in nice. Yeah, it's coming along. Let's see if I can go in one more. Yeah, I like it. It's looking good. All right, so we'll come back and we'll work on the uh, the uh, this door. Okay. All right. As always, stay inspired and color, color, color.